That thing's quite enough to probably can't here in the windows are down. And wow, I guess it's a little soupy out there just yet. Yeah, just having some small to moderate to traction problems there on the back side. Probably gonna have to back up and get another run for it. Well, kind of got a little sideways. I get the props for giving that only had. Trying to get a run for it and try to make it up there, but uh, I'm willing to bet we're gonna see a little something here maybe as you straightened out, got a nice run for it this time. Briar Fry out of Atascala. Down the back of I believe we can call those the frame twisters. The frame twisters it is. Yeah, sometimes we do need to get any dice and the two wheel drive machines actually seem to work out pretty good to be competitive. Not looking like that right now. Yeah, I definitely have some issues here tonight with two wheel drives and uh, tracks is definitely at a premium. I gotta give Ryan credit though, he has definitely given it everything he's got. Nothing else we've done for a rough stroke of it ever. Matthew Peters had a jaw stock getting some final instruction right there. Talk about how I want you to go. And we're off. Front wheel drive is that one. Uh, he might not fish tail quite so bad, Bob. Now, how in the world does he already have something hanging from the undercarriage? That seems to happen way too frequently, doesn't it? Here's the first question. Here's the main question. Don't want to hit one of these things real good. Does he have any nearby? And that is the resounding yes. Matthew Peters. Put the show on. Hell yeah. Get her rolling. Get her rolling. Tell you what, I think that purple drive might be an advantage here tonight. He used the bank. Gonna use it to help him turn. Gets him squared for that back stretch right there. And there goes Paul Martin. Paul Martin Just off that uh, final obstacle. 
four years rough truck experience for Joseph Hibbett. Getting all kinds of turn backwards, sideways, gets her lined up though. Here he goes. I love it. 
I see it's a pretty skilled drive in here. Uh, Mike O'Reilly, O'Reilly Racing Power 2003 Jeep Grand Cherokee. This could be interesting. Not 
Josh Hummel with a 73.391. Inner LaRue on the clock. Gets it done straight down. Down the center down the
move over the tabletop. Oh, 
trying to beat 66947 of Dalton Urban. Boy, a real nice 180 turn there. 1999, deep here, deep here, drive. Give it a jump, Andy. Real nice looking run. Oh, nice turn right there. Oh, John Hall.
that's why they're on the... Ryan Goodman on the clock. Time to beat 55, 4, 8, 3. I don't think he's really knocking on that right now. in store for the back stretch, Wyatt Goodman. The wipers are on. Section here could be interesting. Kind of tiptoes around the edge of that. Well, let's see what he has for the big jump. Boy, Andy, he is going to take your money. He didn't think he was going to make it. Oh, yeah. It. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That first uh, 180 down there at the north end of the course.
tightening on that right rear signal. I think that was the year of S10 where you could just remove the signal and use it as a spotlight. Just came right out of the bed there. Out of actually a borrowed 
Baker was uh, looking to exit stage left already. The Utter Tuggers. Dodge Durango. Go
Yeah. Four-wheel drive-ish. Wade Hall. Trying to get it right in for that final backstretch 
Spartan. Tell you what, like a rock, that Chevrolet's still rolling around there. Chooses to go into the firm, 
gone now, it looks like.
be all right there. Not the way he wanted to do that. But still keeping it rolling. He might be able to back on out of this. It's still going. Michael Palson. Sorry, Ryan Palson. Ryan Palson out of Centerburg. He's going to try to come through a different way back to the city. Keep it going. Uh-huh. Let's get Missing the jumps as I'm just here to put on a show at this point. They're tracking it down here through the south end. Yeah. <laughs> 
don't know what was on fire there in the dash by the speedometer, but it didn't last long with a couple handfuls of mud. Oh, come on. There we go. There we go.
Mike, and there's reverse. Jacob Nestor looking to go into the Lincoln County area.
Looks like Perkins is determined to finish the course. Still got to break 86 seconds to make the money. 
as that is uh, the top 15.
angle definitely slowing way down for that right here at the north end. Gets her turn, gets it right, and can he keep it in the center of that table top? He does. Man, he stay out of the soup. Good hop. Good skip. Good jump. Through that first section of the infield.
Seth Tucker. Stay off the bus here at that tabletop. Not too shabby. See if he opts to try and wind it up.
Memorial, second year in rough trucking. Derek Thomas again out of Delaware. Thomas lights it up here at the north end, gets squared up. Again, that tabletop, you gotta hit that thing square, that mush on either side. Looking good, got it. Wise it up for these jumps now.
Sam Ory. Out of Croton. Head down the back stretch into Durango.
something uh, let loose on that one. Not quite sure. Oh, got her fire back up. Job at the north end. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
John Bricker at the 57 second mark here, but having to back up on the back stretch. Good save on the side of the tabletop. <laughs> 